Mick, what'd you leave the Rolling Stones for? You're sitting here playing with the roots. I mean, good Lord. And this is what Don Rickles would do on a talk show, right? Yeah. And, and, you know, but Mick stood there. He looked like he'd been hit by a truck. Right. It was really funny. He says, yeah, you were right to leave the Stones. And he's like... Huh? It was dead dead. It was just nothing. Yeah. I mean, I was trying. You know what? First of all, let me tell you why I'm great. I'm going to tell you why I'm great. Hold on. Let me get paper. Yes. This, this poor guy, Mick Taylor, was standing there when I did this appearance. No one was paying attention to him. Nobody exactly. Really was. Fallon didn't even. Like, he just went, oh, Mick Taylor's here. And, I, and that was it. People didn't. He mumbled it. I got out there. I made a big deal that Mick Taylor was there. Now everyone's talking about Mick Taylor. I helped the guy. He doesn't realize Jimmy, how tell good them. this was. For I, him. I agree. If the guy I had mean, just laughed or engaged you in some way, it would have been I, better. I was backstage watching the rehearsal. I was so excited. Mick Taylor was there, and they were just jamming, and he was playing um, uh, "Love and Vain," you know, and all that other stuff. All the Stones tunes, and I was, just, I was like, "Oh my God, this is so thrilling!" I really cared that Mick was there. They're making a big deal about you know Brooklyn Decker, who, by the way, when you, look, Jimmy, on your show. When a hot chick comes on a model, don't you expect her to wear something really hot? It's preferred, yeah. yeah.